All right, I'm here with today with Pastor Sean Updegraff. He is uh, currently the senior pastor at Tulip Baptist Church in Dixonville. And uh, today we're going to be talking about their 200th anniversary celebration taking place Saturday, October 19th, which is a pretty exciting day, I'm sure, for all the folks there. Um, but first of all, Brother uh, Updegraff, tell me a little bit about yourself and where you come from, uh, all that good stuff. All right, well, I'm... Uh... I, w I didn't grow up in a Christian home. I don't want to go back too far, but uh, <laughs> I didn't grow up in a Christian home. The Lord worked uh, circumstances of my life out that I had trusted Christ at the age of 14. And shortly thereafter, I knew I was called to preach and pursued uh, Bible college after high school, uh, ministry degree, and graduated in Bible college in 2002. I've been in ministry in some capacity over the years since then, um, but just this last summer, I uh, decided to <clears throat> try to do as much as I could to help churches in the area that uh, didn't have pastors and started filling the pulpit for quite a few. And Tulick Baptist Church in Dixonville was one of them. And I found the more I filled in, the more they wanted me to fill in. <laughs> and uh, one thing led to another where uh, we were asked to consider candidating and um, we accepted. And then in December of 2023, we uh, accepted the pastor at there and I've been pastoring just about nine months uh, in this little church. Uh, one of the one of the draws for us to go to this church uh, was the story of how the church got started. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about that, how it all got started. Uh, the history, from what I understand, and if, if I have any of this wrong, maybe some of the members can correct me on it, but <laughs> from, from what I understand is... Um, a lady by the name of Mary Shadrach uh, had immigrated from Wales to what was then called Dixon Run. It's now Dixonville, Pennsylvania, uh, about three miles uh, away from Clymer. And uh, she had been married and had a son, and then that husband passed away, and then she remarried another man, had a son, and that husband also passed away before she immigrated to the states and this would have been um, early 1800s uh, the article that i read said that she wanted to bring her sons to the land of liberty before she passed and had brothers that had migrated to dixon run from wales and so uh, her boys had worked enough to, to put enough money together to come to the states they thought they were coming to the states they ended up in nova scotia hmm. got held up there for a little bit uh, made some money and got to Baltimore and then sent her boys, 8 and 18 at the time, uh, off ahead to find her brothers in Dixon Run. And then uh, once they got there, they uh, sent horses back uh, to bring their mother to Dixon Run. Right. And, and you would mentioned how, before we got started here about how it was basically uncharted territory. There was like all kinds of crazy wildlife and just... All kinds of stuff going on there. Yes, sir. The way the article read, uh, explained the story was they could hear wolves and uh, lions and, <laughs> and bears and so forth. Oh, my. Uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And um, just uncivilized virgin territory in, in, in America at that time. And um, so anyways, they had gotten her to Dixon Run, and there was no church, no Baptist church in that community. Uh, she was commuting... 25 miles or so, and I don't know how frequent, but um, she was going to a church, uh, I believe it was near Evansburg, PA, Cambria County somewhere, uh, to a Baptist church, and then just praying and begging, asking God to have someone start a Baptist church in her settlement in Dixon Run. And over the course of time and much pleading and praying, uh, some men from the church uh, trying to help get a work established there came and uh, that was the beginning of the first Baptist church in Indiana County ever started. Yeah, Tulip which I, I, I found that fact pretty interesting. First Baptist church in all of Indiana County. That's, that's quite, the, uh, quite the distinction there, getting to be able to have that. Uh, and now 200 years later, here you are um, as the, the current senior pastor. And um, so as, as this goes on, you're, let's talk about the celebration coming up, October 19th. Uh, what, what time is this starting and what all is to be happening? Uh, Saturday the 19th 
we will do a bluegrass gospel concert uh, with Joe Mullins and the Radio Ramblers um, at the at the church there in Dixonville, um, and that starts at 6 p.m. And then Sunday morning, the 20th, we will have uh, celebration. Church services is as normally scheduled. Uh, Sunday school at 9:45, and I want to emphasize the the history of how the church got started and uh, kind of highlight some of the uh, events that I've already talked about, but also uh, remember where we've come from and how the Lord got us to where we are. And um, the morning service will have a guest pastor in, Pastor Bob Ross from Jeanette, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, the message that God's laid on his heart to celebrate with us that day. There'll be a, uh, a luncheon afterwards uh, for those in attendance, and then uh, we'll have Sunday evening, ser Sunday evening service as scheduled at 6, and just looking for, forward to a good day in the house of the Lord. Hopefully you have a lot of visitors, the gospel will be preached, see some folks Amen. trust Christ as Savior, and That'll be great. just Amen. keep moving forward. For sure, and I guess that's pretty much, I was going to ask you, you know, what's the, what's the next 200 years going to look like? Uh, but I guess that's pretty much the goal anyway, is keep spreading the gospel, keep trying to bring folks into the kingdom and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, if you want to sort of uh, close the conversation with, uh, uh, you know, your thoughts on the church and where it's going and, and I guess where you're going uh, along with it, uh, you can kind of close with that. Well, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm thankful to have the opportunity to pastor uh, at this church and to do what we can to help them. Um, it's exciting to hear the history and how they got started, and I'm hoping that, you know, I'm actually hoping the church is, makes it from 1824 to the rapture. And yeah, I don't, I don't think I don't see that being 200 years away, but right. uh, it's not right. based on my calendar; it's based on God's. And um, but we we just want to be a blessing and a help, get the gospel in the community, and and reach folks with the uh, with the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, thankful to be a Christian and be able to serve God. Amen. All right. Well, thank you, brother. And uh, with that, we'll close it. Thank you for joining me today. Yes, sir. Thank you.